All right, in this next video, we're going to learn a little bit more about how to edit effectively and create new uh, features. So we're going to do uh, create new features just like we did in the last video, um, but we're going to start using our snapping environment in order to get features connected together well. Uh, now, what I mean by that is that when you create new features, I could obviously make it look cartographically like, uh, for example, I'm going to do roads here, but I want them to be physically connected. I want them to start and stop from the same exact coordinates. So later on, if I do some networking or routing or linear uh, length calculations, <clears throat> that all those are, are correct and as accurate as they could be. So I'm going to zoom into an area here where I'm missing a road. Um, so I've got an existing road here that I want to add a new road to. Now what I want to do is to make sure that when I start editing, um, that those line up perfectly. Now I could kind of just plow in here. Uh, first of all, let's make sure that um, my edit session's on. So I'm in, in an edit session. Uh, I've got a feature template for roads, and I'm going to construct a new line here. So right now, I don't have the snapping environment turned on. So I could go down here and kind of just click anywhere and try to get close and then start making a new road here. But it's not going to line up perfectly. That's going to just look like it's right, but it's not going to be the, um, as accurate as I could be. So I'll stop that. I'm going to hit the delete key here and delete that polygon. So let's get a little bit closer here. And now I want to snap to this polygon or this line. So I want to look up here my snapping and I have different ways in which I can snap things, different types of snapping environment I can turn on. So I could do in snapping and just snap to the end of a line. I could snap to an existing vertex or I could snap to any edge. <clears throat> Let's select this line down here. Um, actually it's two lines so I could s snap to the end point there that would be a good spot. Um, but if I use my edit tool I can see the vertices that it would snap to. So potentially it would snap there. If I snap to edges it would snap to this edge and it looks like for this an end point is going to be the best thing for me to snap to. Um, Alright so let's go back to my line constructor and I'm going to turn on and snapping. So now when I start to create this new line it's going to snap to the end of that road. So when I start this it's going to be the exact same coordinates as that other road that exists. So let's do that. And then I'm going to try to follow this road as, as best I can adding vert vertices only when necessary. So I don't want to just go while with my clicking here and create a bigger data set than I need to. This is a little bit of air photo interpretation, so I'm having to make some best guesses on where that road goes. And I can keep plowing along here. Now let's say I get to the edge here and I need to keep going and I don't want to stop this. So, Well, I can stay in my edit environment. I can switch to the pan tool, pan here, and then go back uh, to my line constructor and keep adding that line. Now let's say I just happened to have screwed up here. And let's just finish that line for the moment. And so I've created a line, but I've got a problem here. I need to adjust this uh, and, and match it up with the underlying feature there. So let's do a little bit of fixing that. So that feature is currently selected. I can use the select tool to select it if it wasn't. And then I'm going to go to my edit tool and double click on this. And now I can see these vertices. And if I mouse over one, I can move it. And then potentially I might want to add one here in the middle. So I go to that spot, right click, say insert vertex, and adjust this line until I've got it just right. Click off the side to finish. And then as always, save what I've done. All right. That's using the snapping environment. Depending on the situation, I may want to add vertex snapping and edge snapping to be able to snap anywhere on an existing feature to start a new one.